Hello everyone, welcome on my YouTube channel. Today we are meeting to to taste some wonderful wine from the country where at this moment uh, is huge problem of uh, epidemia of uh, coronavirus. Uh, this country is of course Italy. So uh, I wanted to keep this wine for for the summer because it's something special. It's uh, one of the best uh, biodynamic and organic wines uh, which I tried last year uh, but it is gonna be a tribute for all the winemakers uh, in Italy who are injured or uh, who will be injured during this uh, strange uh, bad time. This wine is Verdicchio from uh, La Mar Marche uh, in Italy. It's a wine region located in the central east uh, Italian part of Italian Peninsula, so um, the appellation um, it's called uh, uh, Verdicchio dei Castelli di Esi, so it's ca Castelli di, di, Esi, di Gesi, sorry for my Italian but uh, I'm not an Italian language speaker, uh, uh, anyway it's uh, very, uh, very well known uh, DOC, uh, Denominazione di Origine Controllata in, in Italy. So I love this region, it's famous of, uh, of very, very fresh Verdicchio, which is uh, grown on the limestones. Uh, so it's always slight mineral and uh, fresh and crispy, fruity, very, very refreshing. So let me, let me open the bottle. It's uh, in my opinion, it's a summer wine, but yeah, it's it's gonna be a a way of my appreciation of the whole Italian wine making culture. So I would like to drink it, drink it during the time of quarantine. <sighs> okay, so. Uh, Uh, I'm struggling with the curl. Oh, okay. Uh, very, very, very firmly corked wine. Okay, I mean corked, uh, closed. <laughs> I'm sure that it's okay. It's healthy. Uh, okay, the wine uh, contains 14 uh, ABV, so it's. Uh, kind of a stronger uh, wine, but uh, it's quite common for Verdicchio, so... Okay... Mm -hmm. We will talk about the eye first. Uh, okay, the eye is clear, bright, Right, it's uh, it's clean. There are no any sediment or any uh, physical parts of anything. Uh, the wine is organic and biodyna biodynamic, so uh, I think it was uh, filtered. But uh, it's it's ecological wine. So sometimes in ecological wines we have some uh, some some raw parts. Uh, some parts of uh, sediment uh, flying in the, in the liquid, but here it's completely clean. It's, uh, it was very well clarified, so it's uh, it's, it's clean. Um, the colors which I see in the wine are rather rather lighter. It's light lemon. Lemon slightly like a straw. Uh, 
the tinge is, is becoming a little bit greeny, so it's green on the tinge. It's a yellow, but slightly developing one. Okay, let's check the viscosity. Uh, okay, the tears are going down slowly, so it can be evidence of a quite high uh, content of alcohol. Uh, quite high viscosity. viscosity on the eyes it's very nice okay interesting the nose is clean it has no diseases it's a very interesting combination of aromas I I can smell Lemon. Uh, it's fruity. It's uh, fruity, but it has very, mm, very firm herbal nose. It's very herbal. Cloves. Allspice. Slightly flowery. Like a white rose. Very pleasant aroma. It's very intensive nose, in my opinion. It has some kind of uh, um, buttery f aromas. <sighs> Probably malolactic fermentation was done. It's also kind of a uh, common process in uh, uh, production of uh, ecological wines. So. Milky, milky buttery, like a creme brulee. Yeah, it's a slightly like a pollen. There is no evidence of oak, of course. And these are. Uh, Milkiness and the buttery aromas uh, come from the uh, malolactic fermentation, not from the oak maturation. I'm sure of that because I checked before if the wine was uh, fermented or matured in oak barrel, but no. And it's kind of a different type of uh, butteriness. Very, very pleasant nose. Okay. So now it's time to check the palette. Uh, I'm looking forward tasting it because I'm really a fan of uh, organic, especially biodynamic wines and it's biodynamic wine. So I'm a little bit like a witch. I like the moon, I like the moon phases, the stars, everything. It's uh, it's really inspiring me. If I will have a winery, I will uh, have a biodynamic winery. I'm sure. Oh, I I I have to buy a bottle of Leclerc Bayon uh, champagne. It's my favorite uh, biodynamic uh, champagne for sure. Yeah. Last time I was trying I don't know, it was masterpiece, but. Uh, Look like my own uh, is biodynamic. Okay, never mind. Uh, come back to the uh, verdecchio.
wonderful it's really really good uh, of course it's dry uh, acidity is, is high like in uh, Verdecchio from um, from Marquis yeah it's it's uh, high acidity uh, body is body is fuller it's because of this uh, milkiness of the um, of the malolactic fermentation um, uh, it creates the very rounded uh, uh, notes um, of the of the slightly nutty flavors it's uh, creating a very uh, rich character in the mouth so it's kind of a richer wine uh, it's rich without uh, maturating uh, in oak yes because of the malolactic fermentation mm. uh, body is is full as i said alcohol alcohol is high it's uh, it's well integrated on the palate but Alcohol is quite high. Mm. On the pan there are lots of stone fruits like a patch. White plums, uh, nashi, pear, kind of exotic fruit, slightly like a mango, little bit of banana, banana which is uh, showing the umami uh, character of this wine. Uh, bananas, butter, fuller taste, richer. Uh, it's slightly umami. I feel some mushroomy flowers. Mm. What else? Uh, everything is uh, underlined by milky, long, pleasant finish. It's it's kind of a stronger. Um, white wine so I have some idea for food and wine pairing uh, but uh, I will tell it about, about that uh, in a minute mm. it, could, it can be too 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 heavy for the very light dishes like uh, a crayfish or uh, some uh, shrimps or, or very light seafood it can be too heavy wine but uh, okay there is no evidence of fog. Uh, there is a butter butterness, but it's malolactic butterness. Uh, okay. So conclusion. Uh, <sighs> the wine is of course ready to drink. Uh, I can give for this wine, two years in cellar maximum, but it's very good. It can be, it can lose the freshness and this uh, pleasant fruitiness. It can become more like a mm, very rich Burgundy style Chardonnay after, uh, let's say, five years. So now it's very, very pleasant and uh, ready to drink. Uh, we should, uh, I think, keep it not age it mm, food and wine pairing traditional food and wine pairing for uh, this wine uh, is uh, Brudetto di Pesca so it's uh, Italian mm, fish soup uh, it's uh, made uh, with different seafoods and some uh, fish uh, it's kind of a, it's more kind of a stew than uh, than soup. It's it's neither soup and 
and still it's something between uh, it's a dish it's a long cooked dish uh, uh, fish seafood uh, cooked with uh, onion tomato sauce or it can be eaten with some uh, toast or sometimes with uh, with just bread uh, my proposition for fruit and wine pairing is uh, uh, is something uh, more oriental. Um, it's a uh, green chicken curry. Made with coconut milk, uh, served with uh, rice and very spicy kimchi. The uh, the rich uh, character of the uh, of the wine will uh, underline the rich uh, structure of uh, coconut milk. Mm, the sour, fruity, salty mm, uh, notes in the wine will uh, cut the spiciness of the kimchi and the green curry will also make the balance between the uh, fruitiness and the milky umami flavors in this wine. So I think it's a perfect combination. It's very good wine to pair with hot and spicy food in my opinion. Temperature of serving should be 12 Celsius degrees. It's uh, it's white fresh uh, wine with slightly um, richer character, so it can be served at the higher temperature, not 8, uh, 10 degrees, but more 10, 12 degrees, because it has this uh, rich, rich milky buttery character, so it will be. Uh, more tasteable, more uh, more shown uh, because if you uh, cool it uh, to 80 degrees, 6, 8, will it just uh, hide um, the, the freshness and the, um, and only the, the rich, strong, uh, fat milkiness will uh, remain. So 12 degrees. Um, there is no need for decanting, of course. But sometimes, uh, sometimes it's possible to uh, decant the wine like like this one. Uh, only if you want to experiment and check what will happen with the uh, with the buttery flowers. But I don't recommend to do that at home. <sighs> so in my uh, opinion, there is no uh, potential for maturation. It's good to um, to drink it now. Uh, the price of wine is around 20 pounds. I paid, I think, 18 pounds in London. Uh, so it's it's quite expensive, uh, but it's a biodynamic, organic wine. Uh, it's natural, so no fertilizers, no chemicals, no uh, no sulfur, no uh, something what can uh, support killing you in the long term. So it's it's healthier than than other wines, in my opinion. Mm. The company uh, Fattoria San Lorenzo, as I said before, is located in a in uh, central eastern Italy, in uh, La Marche, 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 La Marche. Uh, so it's not very huge uh, company. Uh, it's led by uh, by the family, and the owners are uh, just focusing on creating uh, high quality, biodynamic, organic wine. So uh, it's really, really good. And they. Uh, they are uh, living in a peace with the uh, 
plants and uh, animals as well so uh, here we can uh, see the gooses on the label but it's very cute and cool yeah i'm giving night and wines for for the eye it's fine it's uh it's clear bright everything is fine i'm giving uh, 21 points for for the nose uh, palette it's 18 for me it's uh it's 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 still very fresh very 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 pleasant but uh, i'm not a fan of this combination of the freshness with the uh, with this uh, milky uh, milky buttery uh, flowers uh, it's uh, it's completely different than uh, we could compare it to the some uh, burgundy chardonnay but it's different style it's still very good uh, i uh, it's verdicio so i like fresh verdicio and it's anyway it's very good result 18 conclusion uh, food wine pairing uh, and uh, the price uh, it's 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 18 so 60 76 points for 100 thank you for watching uh, i hope you enjoy you uh, like this channel and you will subscribe it uh, i wish you lots of health and i hope italy uh, will face the problems uh, and will fight the epidemic and we will win with this strange bad <sighs> disaster thank you for watching